Hey guys, it's Kathy here, and I'm back with another Halloween mini. Um, this one uses my 6x6 All Hallows Eve PDF tutorial, and I wanted to show it to you done in a um, more current paper collection. Um, I know it's not new, but I used the Echo Park Chillingsworth Manor um, 12x12 paper pack on this album because I was able to find it in the store a few weeks ago, so um, I know you can still find it. Um, I am going to have this completed album listed on eBay starting Sunday night, September 29th, and ending on October 6th. So if you're interested, I will have a link to the eBay listing in the remarks section of the video below. So um, we'll go ahead and get started on it. it I, I used the same owl charm and ribbons on the spine here, and I kept the cover the same. Um, this paper collection had this orange with black dot paper, and I wanted to show you if you wanted the same look on the cover as what was done in the tutorial that you can do it using um, some more current papers so there's some idea for you there and we'll go ahead and get into this now um, the inside um, there are obviously some changes to it but I think you'll see that it works really nicely with this paper so um, again a little tag here that pulls out I really like this page and I was able to kind of keep the feel of it the same with the um, Echo Park papers so I did that and use the same label there and then there's a photo mat here that pulls out and then on the next page is the two side flaps with the little tags and then um, here I used the velvet paper and I used a flower die and just layered them together and there's a couple multiple layers of the velvet paper but what I found is that that velvet paper kind of when you curl it up it holds its shape I used another label here the same as um, from the King Company I think it's the haunted labels and another antique key here and on the next page um, I kept this almost exactly the same just use a different background paper I liked the owl acetate die cut there that I had used and the photo mats that pull out and then the large flap over here, I put the bat stickers over here this time instead of over here. Um, Use this label, which was on a different page in the original. And then there's the large photo mat in the side here that pulls out. And on the next page, this one, um, these stickers came from the same collection as the owl sticker that I used on the, the original album and it's the Creative Imaginations um, Mara Johnson sticker sheet and I know you can still find that I've still seen that in the stores this year so and then the photo mat here that pulls out then the accordion fold just used orange ribbon this time kept the same bat border punch here and of course it pulls out with the stamping on both sides and then the two side pockets again a couple little tags this mini works out pretty fast um, so if you needed to make one in a hurry you want to make one for a gift totally different theme um, this would be your go-to for sure okay on here um, I kept the same black cat stamp embossed and then you open it and of course did the embellishing again inside of the waterfall and then on the last two pages, I used the Hocus Pocus stamp again, embossed it. There's some spider stickers here, another one of the velvet flowers. Um, this is washi tape on chipboard, make a little banner here. And then that opens, and another large photo mat here. And then on the last page, another photo mat and the same die cut label and a little, another little recollections um, spider embellishment and then on the back the hound's tooth paper from the collection another my mind's eye brad here and so there it is and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that gives you some ideas of some other papers that you can use with this tutorial if you're looking to make a halloween mini i'm going to make a few more halloween minis in the next few weeks i'm going to be using some of my other tutorials to show them so I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.